For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Colorado rise? Madam Clerk, I rise to nominate Congressman Byron Donalds. The gentlewoman is recognized. I, uh, I rise today to nominate Byron Donalds, my friend, an amazing man of Florida, an amazing leader, someone who almost even took leadership here in our Republican Party and came very close in doing so, and it was a very brave run that he took. He's a man who understands what tough times look like and has come out of those tough times even stronger, more liberal liberated, and as a leader. Now, we just heard from my respected colleague from Ohio, and he stated some amazing rules that we have been able to get an agreement on, I think. We were threatened pretty heavily in conference saying if we don't do as we ought, then some of those rules may just go away. But even naming the germaneness rule, which is really fantastic, after Morgan Griffith, well, that was our idea too. My question is, why didn't the supposed leader of the Republican Party present these rules? Why were we fought so hard on these rules? The barrier that still stands in the way of these rules is the structure that prevents us from rolling over. And as my friend from Chip Roy stated, we need the tools and the leadership to do our job correctly. And I believe that Byron Donalds is the man to lead us to that path of getting America on track and uniting the Republican Party. My colleagues and I have worked tirelessly for months to build consensus, to negotiate in good faith, to help unify our party on border security, energy security, debt reduction, term limits, earmarks, among other many common sense policies. But too often, our efforts have fallen on deaf ears. Our border is wide open. Inflation is out of control. The Senate just passed $1.7 trillion without our input. So let me be clear. Our job is not to coronate the biggest fundraiser or rubber stamp the status quo or keep on going along to get along. It's to use our votes to elect a speaker who will enable us to get our country back on track. Getting the job done is what we were elected to do. And that starts with having a leader who supports Republican principles, builds consensus, and has a proven track record of success. Byron Donalds is that leader. Republicans, including many moderates, have been impressed by Byron Donalds. They're impressed by his ability to work together. They respect his leadership. We see him as someone who can communicate what we are all wanting to do in this House to Americans. And he represents so much more than just his district in Florida. Many millions of Americans all over this nation praise the work and the leadership of Byron Donalds. So let's work together. Let's stop with the campaign smears and tactics to get people to turn against us, even having my favorite president call us and tell us we need to knock this off. I think it actually needs to be reversed. The president needs to tell Kevin McCarthy that, sir, you do not have the votes and it's time to withdraw. And with that, I yield. Thank you. Yield back. Yes, ma'am.